Hello, this is Kathy Dice with Budget Ease, and today we're going to talk about estimates. Estimates are so important to running a small business. We need them in order to continue to keep that pipeline full of new possible um, sales. So what I'd like to talk about today is how we can eliminate some of the pain and get those estimates out as efficiently as possible. The first thing you need to do is if this is a brand new contact, it needs to be added to your QuickBooks file. Today we're going to do everything in QuickBooks Online. You can add a contact or your new client, your prospect, directly by typing, or you could sync the contact using Method, which is a CRM program that syncs with QuickBooks right from your Outlook or from your Google Contacts. So we'll talk about that. Preparing the estimate, you can do that by just preparing an estimate from scratch. You can make a copy of an existing um, estimate and just change the client's name. You could save time by having some boilerplate. You can cut and paste that boilerplate into your new estimate and you can also use attachments and I'll show you how to do all of these things in a moment. And lastly, it's a nice idea to set up an email to copy yourself. I email all of my estimates out to my clients or prospects and you can set up a nice cover letter. So here we are on a sample file and there are three ways you can create an estimate. You can go to the add a transaction and you can click estimate. You can click new transaction and get estimate. Let's do that today. So here we're gonna, we've got an existing client, Amy's Bird Sanctuary. We're going to prepare another estimate for them. We're going to design prepare a custom design. The cost of that is $75. And then we're going to install it. The installation on this one is going to be, let's say we're saving 75 hours. And then all we have to do is hit save and send. And here we have an email going out to Amy herself and it's going to say, please review the estimate below. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. I use a little bit different wording, and I'm going to show you later how to change it. Mine say, um, hello, Amy. Thank you for considering budget ease to take care of your QuickBooks, period. A draft of our estimate is attached. Please look over the estimate to make sure we understand your needs. Let me know if you have any questions. If it's acceptable to you, please sign the estimate. And then I use an attachment for additional information that pertains to um, the estimate. Initial the attachment and let's set up a time to get started. Thanks for your business. And then I add all my contact information. So we'll cancel out of this. But while we're here, let me show you where we can add an attachment. This takes you right to um, a file and I'm going to actually even show you the attachment that I use. Here's my estimate attachment. This says what we will do and what we won't do um, in general and um, how we get paid. So you could have a sheet, a PDF, and attach that to every one of your estimates and you don't have to fill it in each time you prepare an estimate. Okay, so we'd save and send that. Let's say our estimates are more detailed than this one. Then what we might want to do is once we cut and paste information in here, let's say what I have is I have a boilerplate. Here's boilerplate. This is what I use. This is what we do to set up a new account. I just copy if it's a new account. I copy it from a Word document and then I put it in my my estimate. I just paste it in. And if I need to make any small adjustments in it, I can make those small adjustments in it. I also, I showed you how I attach the estimate. I attach the estimate and I um, and I mail it out. Lastly, set up a nice email to copy and make sure that you copy yourself. Here's how you do it. Go to the gear company settings, and then sales. 
you'll notice here they've got online email options for sales form. They also have under messages an email message you can include dear or you can leave it blank or two and on your estimate you create the subject line and you can write in whatever message you have and it's ready each time you send an email estimate and I would always copy yourself because then it's easy to find out exactly what the estimate was in case you're not in QuickBooks. One, less, one more thing that I do is I go to my Outlook and instead of adding each client typing it into QuickBooks I use method and there's a little attachment here where um, I can add a contact to method and it automatically goes into method and then into QuickBooks. There you go. If I were to send an estimate to Shorty King, um, there would have to be a customer. I would make a couple adjustments. And Shorty King's contact information would go right into my QuickBooks file. So those are my tips and tricks on how to prepare estimates efficiently. If you have any questions on how you can do things in QuickBooks Online or on QuickBooks Desktop, don't hesitate to contact us at mybookkeeper at budgetease.biz. We'd be happy to answer your questions and do a video and post them. Thank you.